Feel, hit, action. Hi, my name is Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Tracy and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of... Are you dying tonight? Because Trisha's dying you know. I am. Hi. Hello everybody, how are you? Hey. We're a little bit croaky. I'm yeah. not as croaky as some. Yeah. <laughs> Tracy's a I bit croakier really, than I'm me. I sound like I've got COVID again. You do like, sound like <laughs> you've got COVID. <laughs> We've been very busy. We were out motivating today at Brisbane Marathon. Uh -huh. Carl's got himself a beautiful medal. Look Ooh, at that. Look at that, Carl. 42.1k as well. Do it. Point 0.2, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Point 0.2. You yeah, had a great day. It was yeah. beautiful weather. Gorgeous weather. It Lots was cool. of people. And then the sun came out. It was it's lovely. It's nice winter weather. It is. Really yeah, nice. It was fun. Yeah. It was a bit croaky. Yeah, so excuse the voice. We spend six cool. hours screaming at people. That's yeah. what we like to do. Motivating them in. Yay. Yeah. Yay, so what's today? What's today? Okay, today we have a question from Brian. That's uh, Brian sent this a, a little while ago. Okay. So we're just getting to it now. And Brian asked, why do chemicals used during embalming change the skin of a person? Or does it depend on the time of death of the person as to how the skin is when yeah. you embalm? I guess that's what um, okay. yeah. Brian's saying. So yeah. yes, could yeah. you shed some light, please? Will do. Um, Yes, when we embalm a, a deceased, the skin will change. Um, I, would, yeah, I suppose it depends if we're doing a decomp as opposed to somebody that's passed even a few days or a few weeks that isn't decomposed. A decomposed person that we have to embalm usually just stop the decomposition. The skin's still going to feel pretty oily and wet and you can't really change it even as though you put a lot of chemical in to try and dry it out. It's called dry out chemical. Dry out. It dries it out. I love the but names of these chemicals. They're great. But still, um, when you're that far, it's still, oh, it doesn't, it just stops the decomposition, but it's still a bit wet. But what if you're talking about somebody passing away and they've been dead a day or two or a couple of weeks and we embalm, the skin does change. Um, and this is due to the, um, the chemical reaction through the body. And it changes to um, a, I would say, um, I can't, I'm How many said before it's like orange peel? It is, yeah, it goes like, yeah, it does, it's a good way. Yeah. Yeah, it's yours words, yeah. not mine. <laughs> it does go like an orange peel in a bit, it's not rough, but you can feel, you know, so it's the chemical going into all the cells and, you know, of the whole body when you embalm because you're pushing out all of the blood and replacing it with chemical uh, and it has a formaldehyde in it. I said that right, I think. Uh, <coughs> I think. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah, and so it's going in to preserve the tissues and the embalming fluid will fill up between the tissues as well and all your cells. And it, it, it changes, it doesn't change it so you notice when you look at somebody and you go, hmm. If it's done properly. Yeah, if it's done correctly, yeah. Mm. You won't really see, but you'll feel it's uh, a lot firmer. It firms up a lot. Um, and you can, it's like getting the elasticity back. It pulls and it'll go ah, down slowly. Okay. So it yep. plumps it and keeps it like, you know, like when we want our collagen back, when we get older <laughs> and we lose it. Right now. <laughs> so it's kind of a collagen injection and it plumps the skin back up. So it doesn't feel rough it doesn't feel awful it just feels firm you can just tell clump and uh this the, the color shouldn't change much if your chemical mix is correct but i know a lot of people put dyes in there so i don't usually use dyes in that's another additive you can put in but the chemicals i use already yet have a pinky tone to them so you don't really need to well i i i, I don't i know a lot of people do uh add dyes so a lot of embalmers add dyes so yes it does change it and the reason is it's just the chemical reaction pushing into every part of the cells and in between the tissues of the whole body so yeah it's it looks quite natural and it feels quite natural it will just firm and plump oh cool okay so I hope that answered that question radio um and that's also how you tell if the embalms worked isn't it yeah you can tell yeah, if... yeah yeah you can tell you can you can see the change happening as you're massaging the chemical through you can see it one plumping the skin up and you can see the texture of the skin is starting to do that um change into the orange peel but then if the orange peel starts to get deeper and deeper, then you're over embalming. 
you know you're getting too much chemical in that area and it starts to swell and it'll over embalm and go really motley and uh, a lot more dimply but um, <clears throat> even if you say you over embalm the hand it's not too much of a major you know uh, deal because it will subside over like right. a 24 hour yep. period sometimes you over embalm the lips and the eyes and you go <gasps> ooh, and the next day you come down it's kind of the so fluids, they're bulgy yeah right yeah but the fluids kind of then settled into all the mm -hmm. cells and the tissues so it's so it started to settle back down and you will find that i remember the first time i did it in my mentor i went oh too much lips mm. there you know like oh my god oh but it's okay and the next day they look normal it'll settle yeah yeah they look really cool. well interesting so, yeah. All right, well, thanks for that question. That was a good yeah. answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. I guess, Ooh. you know, not many of us get to see an embalmed body. No. So <laughs> yes, that's right. it's a little bit hard to imagine yeah. what it's like, but it's good to, it it's good it to hear it from you. Yeah. Yeah. But it does. But it does not, it doesn't change it to a, you know, a terrible look. It's really nice. And that natural and easy to touch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good cool. question. Thank you. All right, guys. Well, yeah. if you have any questions, don't forget to send them in. Yes. Please like, subscribe. Oh, what was that? That's the puppies going up and down hearing us. Oh, They're going up and down the, the outside stairs. Oh, the dogs are gorgeous. Mm. Little puppies. Well, yes. Yes, like, subscribe, share with your friends. And um, we'll see you next time. See you next time. Go on to Insta. Bye. Bye. Oh, Carl. Hmm. Good work, mate. Oh.